Hello and welcome to episode number 49 of On the Back Ash, where we talk about things in the pageant geology world. My name is Cedric. Join with me today, Zach, William, and Chris. How's everybody doing today? It's uh, finals week. It is. That it is. It is time to let it all hang out. Mm. Oh. Do what? See, I wasn't even. Oh my. Where did it even go in there? Mm-hmm. Oh, I man. Wasn't. I was not. We have children who watch this show. Um, but no, it's 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 really go time. And by the time these episodes come out, um, we should have an open class champion. Yeah. Yeah. So, which is I think kind of a tight race. Spartans are looking to. To take it, we'll see if Gold can do anything to catch up, but I think that gap's a little bit too big. They kept them close uh, at the separate shows. The scores were yeah. pretty close, but they were separate, though. Yeah. Um, and Southland's looking poised to medal. So. Good for them, man. It's good to see them get an opportunity like that, make, making their way back. Yeah. For sure. Um, so in this episode, we the main the bulk of it will probably be our predictions for finals. Uh, we did this last year; it was a lot of fun. Um, so we'll do that again. But before we get into that, we are briefly going to talk about uh, the Allentown shows this past weekend, uh, since that was our one to watch. Um, basically, I don't, I don't know about you guys. I left. I'm leaving Allentown with no clearer picture than I had before Allentown. I say I did not get the watch, but I saw them scores, and boy howdy! <laughs> yeah, it's, looking uh, like our prediction of of everyone catching up to BD at the end was going to happen. So, what are you going to say, that? As, it's clear as mud. Yeah, it's the only way to yeah, put so, it. Yeah, um, so so Friday night, um, I think the big thing that Big takeaway was Blue Coats closing the gap on, on Blue Devils. Um, shrinking that down to a half a point, which is kind of huge for them. That That's the closest I think they've been to them all year, um, especially going head-to-head. Pretty strong showing for them. I think it was uh, Troopers getting over Blue Stars. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That that was my favorite thing. Yes. Yeah, we we. I mean, I think we we or maybe y'all didn't say it. Maybe y'all said it. I don't want to say something y'all didn't say. That we get rid of. But I know my thought process was they were they were going to end up falling to eleven at some point, just the way that things were were going. And uh, Troopers had a strong run Friday night, and. I mean, they took care of business on that Blue Star show. Uh, over the Blue Stars in their show. Mm-hmm. That um, perk is really helping them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't... So, something something about the Blue Star show this year. And I understand it took a risk, and we, and we, and we normally can talk about doing that. And, I don't know. You think they box themselves in, maybe? I think they just... They had a concept idea, and it didn't come out the way they think it, ca- it was supposed to. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> they kind of just ran with what they thought they could do. And like I said, I, we've been saying this. I think you're going to do a show like that. It needs to be insane, like psychedelic, kind of just all over the place, all that kind of stuff. But I, I don't feel like, you know, I don't get absent. Or Absinthia when I watch um, that show. I think that's one of those shows that you wish you had their uh, director's commentary over it, mm-hmm. so you knew what was what everything meant, and that would make things probably a lot clearer for them as as they kind of go forward. Um, Cavaliers had a strong run there; uh, they just keep getting better and better. Um, I think they put their new ending on with some. Cavalier esque uh, daring drill stuff at the end. Um, Blue Knights keeps pushing towards finals. I 
uh, Pacific Crest keeps falling back further and further. Um, it's almost it's almost like some of these groups kind of literally ran out of gas. Um, yeah, I feel like after San Antonio Pacific Crest, it kind of just it already peaked a little bit. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, which is sad to see because would have been awesome to see them in there battling it out. Mm-hmm. Well, I think we learned last year. You know, it's kind of a pacing game. You know. Uh, Boston was just poised to to finish, you know, in the silver medal spot, and was even peeking on. I mean, maybe catching Blue Devils, but just kind of <clears throat> petered out at the end, and Blue Coats ended up catching them um, towards the end. So, I think how directors and groups and stuff like that pace their not only pace their shows, but like pace like when they add new stuff to the show and mm-hmm. things like that. Cause I don't know if Pacific Crest ever did anything new after San Antonio. I think what they had was what they had. And we always talk about this. Like, Oh, this would be a good thing. That's something like as of the season is over, mm-hmm. just talking about that blueprint, like what's too much too soon. Or should that even be the case? You know what I mean? I think that'd be good, something that we could talk about and and dive into because I, I think that's really interesting to talk about yeah. um, when it comes to DCI and WGI for that matter, to be honest mm-hmm. with you. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's definitely a balance. It's, it's, <laughs> you got a, something to think about whenever you're doing stuff like this. So we move over to Saturday night and um, – I think Zach picked an excellent one to watch for this one because there was tight races all over the place. Um, everywhere. everywhere. So between the top two, two there, you have Boston and Keller Crown with Boston winning the Saturday night version of the show by point zero three seven. How does that even happen? That's crazy. Point zero. Listen, I'd rather be like that Instead of a tie, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that's true. Yeah. I rather I rather be that close and no comment. <laughs> um, and I watched. I mean, both of those shows are on fire. We finally saw a Crown from Carolina, um, mm-hmm. and we saw a, a a new ending. I guess it's a new ending. Um from um, Boston as well. Um, only, the reason why I kind of question marked it was because the drill and stuff stayed, pretty much stayed the same. They just added some more theatrical stuff a little bit towards the end uh, to kind of finish up the story. But, I'm going to oh. mm-hmm. need the cameraman to know <laughs> when the flag gets pulled. <laughs> Yeah, I, I did there, notice that. I was I, like, are you kidding me? I, I saw some of the comments on that and figured like, it was a disaster. You should have, like, spidey sense if you don't even know when that happens. Like, come on, come on, come on, Flo. <laughs> Listen, they, Need y'all to have some notes beside you. By, by now, yeah, there. by now, you should know that. Like, <laughs> and they typically do. I know when Tom Blair produced the DCI DVDs, um, they did like a behind the scenes thing and they would say, yeah, we would go to these shows and, you know, by the time we got to like Allentown or before finals week, we had a play by play of where each, where each camera should be at yeah. in each second of the show. And I'm sure Flo is getting to that point. If not, if not already there, somebody just might have missed a call. Um, Cause it's hectic. And I think they call it the war room. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's insane. In my brief stint of being a broadcasting major, um, being in the production room, like, I mean, it's nonstop talking, like getting people ready to go here, 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 here. So I couldn't imagine having all those cameras. Tell me about it. <laughs> per that ended. Um, but yeah, and then like you think about finals, they have the swing cam too. They had that in there. And a whole lot of other stuff. So. so, so it's tough work, but you know, but still get it together. Don't do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> so that was a tight race, and then a race from 
four, sorry, five through seven just got tighter. And honestly, really eight. And I'll tell you why here in just a second. Um, so Cadets, Mandarin, and Phantom are just beating up on each other. Um, Cadets took down the head-to-head between Mandarin and Phantom. They scored a 92.125, beating out Mandarin to a 91.988. And Phantom was behind Mandarin with a 91.975. So if you're doing your math at home, that is point zero one three. So somebody eye. blinked. Yeah. Somebody's eyelash fell on the ground. And the judge they're, they're looking down those diagonals. Mm. Finally. I mean um so I and the reason why I was, go ahead, go ahead. I got to see Phantom's run and I think it was it was solid, but I don't think it was their best run. There's a lot of groups that didn't Seem to have the emotion, yeah. But Which is I hard wondered, to get that through flow stadium? too. It's hard to get that through flow, but I don't know. I was as I was watching Phantom, I was like, like it was is fine, like it was yeah. good, it was solid run, but it didn't have, it just didn't have something to it that it normally has from them, has had this year. I think their ending is going to end up biting them in the butt. They kind of locked themselves in. Surrounding themselves around that circle. Um, they do the kick out, mm-hmm. um, which I was happy to see. But yep. I just think from a from another standpoint, it just we touched on this the 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 ending of their show. Just we think about how how they come out the gate with the first half. But that first half is just nonstop. It's energy. It's emotion, you know, all this stuff. And then it's, it seems like the back half kind of just doesn't get back up to where the beginning started. Does that make sense? I would agree with that. Don't get me wrong. It's still my favorite show this year. Yeah, I would say two-thirds of that show is solid. That final third, I think, especially visually, like, I feel like they're marching real well, but I feel like they know, like, the, the placements in the staging are always kind of weird at the end there. So, be cool. They, I don't know if they will. I don't think they will change it, but be cool to see if they can add a little bit to the end. You know, If they could somehow make a chevron and then peel the chevron into the circle, I think. I'm throwing Zach over the railing if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, though. Um, so, if in... If you want to mix in, Cavalier scored it in a 91 range as well. So, you know, our little 5 6 7 battle could turn out to be a 5 6 7 8 battle um, if all things go the way that it is. Um, Coats continue to kind of climb a little bit. Um, they kind of separated, separated themselves from the group. Um, and Crossman kind of is trying to solidify, solidify excuse me, themselves at the finalist group. With a solid score of 85.38. Uh, Spirit keeps climbing. I don't think they can get clean enough to sneak in. Who knows? I don't know. Like, the more I watch that show, the more I like it. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's uh, good stuff. And Scouts had a good run, and Music City broke 80. That's right. So, so lots of good stuff. And so if you're keeping track for my DCAA fans, the Reading Beckoneer scored an 85, which is just ridiculous. Um, <laughs> they ain't playing. I, I watched that show and I was like, okay, so they're trying to make they're trying to make DCI final score. For <laughs> 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 so, um, so if you compile the scores, um, and that's out there. On, I think I saw that on Facebook somewhere, but I don't have it up. But Blue Devils would be first. Um, and then uh, Boston and Carolina Crown right behind them. And then Blue would be fourth. And then a gap. And then you had the Cadets, Mandarin, Phantom, Cavies, Mess. Um, then you have the Cavies, 
kind of on an island. And then, well, no, I said not cavities on an island. They're not on an island anymore. They're catching up. Um, Coach Troopers doing their thing. Blue, Blue Stars are kind of sliding. And then you have the battle between Crossman, Blue Knights. And I'm going to go ahead and throw Spade in there for the 12th spot. So, lots of moves being made. So, like, literally going into finals week, nobody knows what's going to happen. <laughs> no. Which is great. So, going with that nobody knows what's going to happen, let's make some predictions. <laughs> let's try to figure it out, huh? How about that? <laughs> All right. So, um, somebody want to talk while I pull this up? So what we're going to do here is, um, oh, God. We, no, I'm just kidding. We are going to, uh, we did this last year, which was a lot of fun. We're trying to make our top 12 predictions. We're actually going to do 13, do our first one out. Um, we'll go through our, our, our predictions of 12. And we also do who we think we're going to win the overall caption awards, which are brass, general effects, percussion, and visual. And so God. we have all those. Uh, do what? And guard. And guard, yes, yeah, sorry. Thank you. Yeah, and guard. Um, so we'll do all those as well. And um, yeah, so. All right. Can the class see my screen? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> Not again. Yeah. I'm getting here. I'm going to go yeah. like, sit in the corner and rock back and forth for a little while. <laughs> I to this day cannot hear the Google Meet noise without like having <laughs> a, a Vietnam flashback. Dude, so I'm in a cohort. We use Zoom, and every time I get on Zoom, I'm just like, oh god. Let's get our, look, We're gonna get into some breakout rooms. I'm like, oh. <laughs> freaking out over here. I want to do it. <laughs> All right, so um. Do y'all want to start with 13, or do we want to start with 12? Or how do we write that? I don't really care. I say we start 13. with 13, man. Go from there. Start with 13. All right. Uh, we'll, kind of, we'll just serpentine it. That way I don't have to keep track of everything. So I can go first. Um, and I need to pull up my actual sheet so I don't say the wrong thing. All right. For 13th. Pioneer. What? Wait. Yeah, <laughs> right. Teal Sound. What are you talking for, about right uh, 27 flinches. Uh, for 13 for me, I'm going to put Spirit. Um, I don't think they have enough to get in the finals, but maybe maybe they can push uh, Blue Knights out the way. Um, I, 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 like I said, I like what they're doing. I just, just a little bit too much dirt. Um, just not as polished as it should be, but what a comeback. Like, what a comeback. Very proud of those guys. So, Spirit's my first one out. Chris? I, too, have Spirit as my first one out. Kind of the same thing as you. They started later than other people as well, so they haven't had as much um, chances to, to grow as fast as others have. But I'm with you as well. I think, you know, it's just – it's good, but it's not – not there to knock Crossman off. Crossman has figured something out, and um, I just gave away my twelfth one, but whatever. Um, <laughs> you know, but I think that's a. I think kudos to them after their first year back. Cool, William. Well, just say it. Go ahead. I actually want Spirit to be in, so I got Crossman on my thirteen. Oh Ooh. snap! I thought you were going to say Scouts. <laughs> I did too. I thought Scouts was coming. Honestly, I yeah. came close to it. I was like, let me okay, let me be real for a little bit. Some of this is hard, some of this is is brain, but I, I don't know. Yeah. It's it's too much going on, man. It, it don't make no sense. There's no clear cut for nobody, and nothing's going on. And for some reason, I feel like Spirit's just gonna lay it. This is the last push. This is the last chance. This is the last everything. And at this point, everything has literally come to what are you gonna do that day? Mhm. Mhm. I agree with so, that. Yeah. So I'm gonna give them one shot, and I'm a. Yeah, I kind of did like Chris. I just gave away my twelfth, but still. <laughs> All right, Zach. I have on the outside looking in. 
I got the Blue Knights. Okay. Particular reason why? Uh, that I think they're just a little bit better than Spirit and Pacific Crest. Uh, not as good as Crossman, but I think they're just just this much ahead. And I think it's just out of Spirit's reach. But I would not I be can... mad about Spirit making finals or being 13th either. Yeah. All right. So who's your 12th place? My 12th is Crossman. And that is all. William. <laughs> <laughs> well, Spirit, yeah. Spirit? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Chris? I guess I already got getting mine away in the last one, but I think it's going to be Crossman in that 12 spot. It's going to be like point zero zero. Yeah, it's definitely going to be close. Mm-hmm. They're going to polish yeah. that turd just enough to get 12. Jesus. God. I agree. Jesus. <laughs> You know, he went the whole season without Doggy Crossman. Listen. <laughs> Here we are. Are um, we sure about that? Because there's footage. <laughs> well, okay. Hours of footage that people no, come back and Okay, I, I said the phrase polishing a turd, but they <laughs> took something that at the beginning did not look like or sound like finalist material, and they have cleaned and cleaned and Brought out the fire hose and all that stuff and gotten that thing finals worthy. Yeah, I agree. I I don't really like it that much, but it, it's it's a final show. It's a twelve play show. It's it's out of and if I'm being real with myself, uh, it it really is between thirteen for a little bit with my heart. It really is between them and Blue Knights. It's whoever has a better run. And right now, Crossman shows us a little bit more polish from an execution standpoint. I think Blue Knights tells a better story, even though I'm not sure what that's going to I say, what is that story? Because I want to know if you know it. (laughs) Um, My 11th spot is Blue Stars. Um, uh, I don't know. It's it's not – I mean, it's good enough, obviously, to make finals, but there's just – it's something about it that just – I don't know. Cross, uh, Chris. Uh, well, we so far are three for three. I also have Blue Stars in the eleventh spot. Um, they play really well. We got to see that live. They play really well, but the package wise is just it's not there. It's 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 not there for them, and um, so that's why I have in my eleventh spot. Well. Same blue stars. Wonder if it is if it's not capturing people the way they wanted it to. I agree. That's your eleven. Is that? Mm-hmm. I just think the people who know what Ant Epsif is has an they idea. Have a better understanding. Yeah, but even maybe. but even after that, it's really other than the spoons and the green and the sugar cubes. What more is there that tells you it's absent? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just, but you, but you also got to know why how, there are exactly. Like yeah. I didn't know why there was a spoon. This is why we talked about this at the very beginning of this season. They need to have commentary during the season about different cores, like on flow, like, like they do on stride TV, but like during the season, because I feel like that would make things a lot clearer. Um, if we get, you don't have to tell us everything. You don't have to tell us all the secrets, but just what's the mindset. Um, or at least like, you know, like in the, in the season opening, when they used to do it in the movies, yes. when they would kind of interview the design team or somebody it's from animal the farm. Staff. But it's not Animal Farm. Yes. And they yeah. would just kind of give you, like, 
a little bit of a synopsis of what's going on. I don't know. I just. It's hard. It's it's hard because like on a design standpoint, I, mm-hmm. and I've heard of a lot of people doing this. Um, I don't know if it was uh, my brain is telling me three. Three years ago, I think of uh, the year Broken City won in WGI. Nobody in a right mind had a clue what their show was about. Mm-mm. But the director of Broken City said the show is supposed to be whatever you think it's supposed to be. And that was literally it. Like I heard something about they they even went to the kids and they told the kids, it's like, okay, this is what our show is going to be about. But in reality, it's whatever you think it is about. I was like, how wide is that? Well, I'm supposed to figure that out. <laughs> like, and exactly. So, but they won. Because <laughs> in the end, it was like, God, dog, this show is good. But I'm one. I bet a lot of staff think like that. That's why we don't know what Blue Coat Blue Knight show is. Yeah, it's like, what's happening in this? What What are these towers? Mm-hmm. Is this yeah. are we on some kind of alien planet? What's happening? You know, we well, you know that um, we had an interview um, at the end of last season with Caleb with Mars Blue Stars um, last year, and he said, "Yeah, you know, we we asked him, like, so what's the, what was the show about?" And he said, "Well, there's a lot of things I can't tell you that was going on there, but here's kind of the thing. I feel like that's a lot. Again, he Mars Blue Stars. I feel like that's a lot of their stuff is that they they kind of have this like meaning behind so that for the core, which is awesome." But yeah. I also would like to know what is going on in the field. <laughs> Them shows are risky, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I won't name names because I'll go into a fit. <laughs> but I have worked with directors who made shows about them mm. and expected <laughs> the audience to know what it was. And even us as staff, we were mad because we didn't know until he had to explain. And I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> How do you write a show about you? Yeah. But then get mad. Nobody knows what it's about. So, yeah. <laughs> Zach, who's your 10th? My 10th is The Troopers. I think Colts have separated themselves from them just a smidge. Well. Yeah, troopers. We're talking hundreds of tents again. Yeah, it's because I was obviously you can't compare show to show, but if you did, troopers beat Colts. But again, who gonna show up that day? Chris. So I went back and forth on this one, and. I came out the same as you guys. I put troopers. I just think Colt's show just. It's going to be like just enough. Yes. Like I feel like they have a little bit more. Just enough. And it's going to be. Yeah. Just a little bit more than um, the troopers. Yeah. For me, it's more emotionally engaging. Um, yes, it's it's a, it's enough it's enough variety to keep me interested. Um, the, I feel like it's like one of the few feel good shows this year too. Well, the thing I think the thing with Troopers is it it just gives you the same flavor. You're mm-hmm. you're eating the same bowl of vanilla ice cream, and I'm wanting I'm wanting a piece of cookie dough or Oreo or whatever in there, but I'm not getting it. Not you ever done that, that mistake? I know Zach's never done this because he really likes cereal, but like you get a bowl of cereal and you eat it, you're like, man, I can go for another bowl of cereal. And you walk in there, and you're just like, oh, I shouldn't have got this bowl because it's too much cereal now. That's the Troopers <laughs> this year and last year. <laughs> sure. Zach doesn't agree with that. <laughs> Did anyone else have that problem? You get like you get a big old bowl of cereal, you're just like, man, I can really go for another one. I oh, and- and then I don't know. Um what what your favorite baked goods you make? I don't know. Key lime pot and uh you probably eat the whole thing too. I'd eat the whole thing. Uh, no, I don't know. That's what's serious. I, can't do I that. just think 
I just think Troopers this year doesn't give enough variety for me. Yeah. So there's all no, the nine no, are the same there. There's no palate <laughs> cleanse. So I think it I think it's also it could it could be a preference. It could be yeah. a, a, a sensible taste of things because if you think about it, that's and like it's not something I, I'm gonna be able to just get away from, but that's why I connect certain shows with movies and stuff like that because mm-hmm. there are so many movies that are like that. It can't be like one stream, but it's it's like the Blair Witch, one of the most less spending movies that gross the most. But yeah. it's it's flatline. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So it's like that's that's kind of how like I look at Troopers. It's like I, it's it's like man, I don't think I'm to the point where do I need to have something that's just in my face all the time or at any point because. I, because I think by the time I started questioning myself is by the, the year and in indoor mystique did disciples. And I was like, man, you really want something to just throw you out of the arena. But mm-hmm. the show kind of didn't really do that. So now it's like, okay, I think you've opened a new gate to a new way of looking at something or looking at art or looking at, yeah. you see what I'm saying? And I think, I think besides this year, I think that's kind of the, the blue stars syndrome a little bit. Yeah. Their, their stuff has been very flat line, so to speak, all really solid shows, but like, there's not <clears throat> a whole lot of moments where it's just in your face or anything like that. Like the Call of the Wild show, mm-hmm. War and Peace wasn't very in your face, um, you know. Just so I, I get that. Yeah, all troopers are missing is just a huge tumbleweeds going through the old field or whatever. Wasn't that opening lick that they play on that? The I love it. Oh, oh. I love it. Does that pre-show stuff? I'm like, I want to steal the pre-show that. Pre-show stuff, that. man. I'm, I'm telling yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Um, my ninth place is Coats. I think we just put that across the board there. I think we all agree yeah. with that one. Um, like I said, this, that show started to come together, and uh, we alluded to it last week. Just the adding of the vocals in the um, mm-hmm. in their ballad just kind of made things make a lot more sense, and just enough variety there. They're playing really well. They're marching really well. Yep, just lots of good stuff happening. Drummond's playing well, so. I, for me, Coats have to me Coats have separated them. Like Will said, have separated themselves from troopers. Yep. Still have ugly uniforms though. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know this was a take you had. It's like, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah I do. Uh, anyway, we'll we'll continue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my right. eighth place. So this is where it starts to get fun. Yes. My eighth, my eighth place is Cavaliers. Uh, Will? Uh, I actually have Mandarins. All right. Ooh. Here we go. Shake it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh? All right. Chris? I have Cavies sitting in my eighth spot. Too little, too late, I think, for them. As do I. Um, could they pop in the seventh? Possibly. Uh, maybe. Um, if, but... if their brass section is anywhere comparable to their perk section, they don't have to be... Ooh. There'd be a top five for that. Well, they might but you know, I mean, like, the gap, is, <laughs> the gap is gigantic. If they can narrow that gap between um, their placements there, I could see them moving up a lot more. But well, that's the thing. Everything they're doing is finishing in this spot, except mm-hmm. for percussion. Yeah. Um, I don't think they're sitting ninth in anything. There's a lot of sevens and eights and stuff. Um, But if they could, I mean, if they clip somebody, it's because they perk just wrecked shop. 
the problem is the problem is going to be with them going on that early. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't know if they're going to get the perk score that they actually deserve because they got to have to, they, they got to leave room because like BD is capable of beating them. Um, and Boston's capable of beating them. Cadets are capable of beating them um, on a good night. So they gotta they gotta leave room, and I don't know if this is one of those you write a number down, but then if they were the better group, you go back and you're like, all right, let me bump up to what they really should be. I don't know. I don't even know if that's a thing that they can do, but <laughs> they might need to. So, well, I'm interested to hear your thoughts about manners and why and why eighth. No, it's 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 just a numbers game. It's a who shows up. Because for me, I actually think Cavs can touch it by 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 hair. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to be one of those somebody's going to figure something out because it's the final push. Everybody's going to lay whatever they're going to work on the most on whatever is hurting them the most. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, for seventh, I have Phantom. Um, I think they've, uh, uh, they might have peaked a little too early. Uh, the, the beginning of that show is great. And the end of it is good, but it's, I don't know with what the groups ahead of them are doing just to kind of finish off the polish off stuff. You know, kind of leaves you, kind of leaves you wanting a little bit more. So I got Phantom set. So this next group for me. I think it all comes down to, we've been talking about the last few weeks, who goes on before the break. I think that's really going to that's really going to separate a lot of this stuff. Cavies are already going to go on before the break. We already know that. But the next group, like where is that going to be um, here? So really I think that's going to determine a lot of it. I have my seven spot, the Mandarins. Let's see what I have there. Word. All right. Well, this is where cabbies go. And that. Um, is it weird that I think there might be a tie here? No. Don't. Oh, listen, listen. I don't want to say it, but it's going to be that tight. I think. Yeah. If I had, uh, what's your heart say? My heart says Phantom Seven. There you go. So who's six for you? Carolina Crown. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, man Mandarin. <laughs> Mandarins. <laughs> Mandarins are six. I want it for them. I want it for them so bad. They can do it. I think so. All right. Will, who's six? I'm called Drama. The Cadets. Ooh. Ooh. Right. Chris? I have Phantom sitting sixth. And I have. I gotta look it up. <laughs> I also have cadets sitting six. Look at you guys. Listen, so what, I, what yes. made you guys put them there? I want to know. Yes. I, I'm not. <laughs> I don't. I don't hate it. I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. Adam. Um. Look, I'm, I'm just going off. Honestly, it's basically going off of what happened this past weekend. Um, which technically that would have Mandarin's finish it, but. I think I don't know, man. They've been bouncing all. They've been bouncing back and forth for all season. I just think that's this where the, the turntable is going to stop. It's just for whatever reason, Cadets is going to be six. Okay, I can see all this. Like that's what's crazy about it. Um. So my fifth. 
I, I think I think it's a storyline. I, I really think I, I think they're gonna establish themselves. Like this is their breakout season. Well, I'm here for it. Yeah, me too. That's awesome. I'm, the ascent of the Mandarins has been one of my favorite things to see these last three four years. Mm-hmm. There's cadets have a lot of athleticism in their book, but Mandarins do too. Um, and I think that's the main reason why they've caught up with Phantom is is some of the the, the brass book in itself is 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 kind of difficult. It's it's low key difficult. Like if you really go back and listen to it, you're like, oh, there's some there's some stuff in it. Um, and if they if, if they if they knock one out and can get the crowd on their side, because the crowd loves them. So. All right, Chris. All right, so I have cadets sitting here fifth. Um, I think they play a little bit better than Phantom and Mandarins, in, in my in my opinion. Um, I think cadets and Phantom are really close when it comes to that. And then between those two, I think GE wise, I think cadets or yeah, and visual wise too, because they can man, can they march? Oh. So good. So you so. say that, but I'm looking at the recap from Allentown and Phantom and Mandarins beat them in visual. I don't even care. I don't even care. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Like I said, that five, six, seven is gonna be the my favorite thing to watch. Hmm. I mean it's gonna be so good, man. William? Phantom. I'm showing love to him. And it's all too that, tight. It, it is. It, that, it, any of this could happen. <laughs> like, any of this could happen. Three way tie. The way DCI has been going, they wouldn't pull some crap <laughs> like that. I'm telling you. So, uh, since we've reached our first visual, uh, first uh, subcaption, who do we think is going to win our subcaption awards? All right. Um, for me, visual, uh, I think VD. Ditto. Same. I unfortunately agree. <laughs> um, although they've, it's been close. Like blue, blue coach has been pretty close to blue devils in that caption. That's the only two I went back and forth with. Yeah, it's between those two. That's the only two I went back and forth with. So, so there's that. All right, all right. Fourth Who's place. leaving what out? Who's that? <clears throat> Say it because I bet you have the same one I do. I think Crown's going to be fourth. William? Boston. Mm. <laughs> I don't know who you're going to say. Who you're going to say. <laughs> Boston. Oh, no, it's not. No. I'm with Will on this one. We're going cram. Their percussion is going to kill him. But can, but can the rest oh. see? I just hold up, hold up just enough. I, I think so. I... Just enough. Can the rest? I'll wait till I get my third place prediction. I yeah, because that's what I, was in my head. Mm. I said, "God dang that guy, dang perk." 
I, I think I'm, it's going to be. I'm all for the. I'm all for that new staff, but man, I don't want everybody to call it a bad year. Yeah. It's not. It's not a bad it's year. It's so it's much better than it used to be. It's yeah. so much better, and so I love much, the writing. So much better writing. Yes, so much better writing. I love the writing. But it's, it's a it's good. Just, it's a good it's, year for them. This everybody's just sad. Thinking great. <laughs> Uh, well, and I mean, you have cat, cadets bringing it back, old school style. I mean, like you got to make room for them. Then troopers are coming in, doing what they're doing. Like, but they beat cadets at Allentown in percussion. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, but Luffy was judging. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hold on. Hold yeah. on. Yes. Yeah. Is it? Is it who I think it is? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> well, so we're gonna move on. Too GE. Bad, too bad we can't ever tell that story. Who's winning GE? Is that? Swabby. Uh, uh. Here I go again. Do I go with head or heart? Yes, BD. <laughs> I'll, I'll listen. Blue Devils. These these captured awards were easy for me. The only one I had trouble with was visual. Mm. BD. I'm gonna go around on the win. Ooh, I like. Okay. I like. If I like anybody, can, if anybody can catch them, it's him. They have the vehicle. I like. It. Mm-hmm. I'm here for it, but if I was, the, but I think they have a better shot it's of being gonna, in the It's going to take the right pen, and that's it's going to have a to lot be of the right panel for that to happen. It's and that's a lot of this, honestly. Mm-hmm. With what we're talking about, all right, um, all right, my bronze medalist. Is Star Minion. Okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> the Glassman. The Glassman. Boston. Uh, Boston's my bronze medalist. Let Star come back. Sure. They're going to blow everybody out the water. Right. That got dang um, grass. It's a, it's, it's, and this is half heart, half, half mine. Um, I mean, they've been catching each other. I, I, I just feel like the group that I have in seconds is going to find a way to. Pull away this time. So I got Boston with the bronze. Chris? I have Crown. And the reason why Will kind of alluded to it, what I was thinking about, is like the year that they won it, that their perk was just good enough to to not mess it up. And I think that's going to be the same thing, but for the bronze, is that their perk's going to do just enough to get them there. Um, because like I said, the seeing that live gives you a lot better appreciation for it, for what they're doing. Uh, the storytelling is done really well in that. Um, so that's why I gave them the nod over Boston. They had to score a bunch of perfects too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that perk was sitting eighth. <laughs> Deja vu. But I got, I got crowns too. It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't by much either. No, it ain't nothing. It, no. It's All of like this a, is... It's going to be like a pissed off, how the hell did that happen kind of score. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what it's going to... That's what well, it's we going out eight done. decimal points now? What is we doing? You don't have to. I need some fractions, half... About 27%. <laughs> ain't that... Uh... I'm going to go with Boston as well. Don't be changing your list up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go back. I had Blue Coast third. I did. I knew it. I was like, See? you can tell. You can tell. Like, <laughs> okay, and here's why. Take a, I, here's take why. Too long. I, I think I think it's going to be like a uh, 
a tilt kind of thing where they jump because when tilt meddled it was bronze and they jump cadets on finals and i think that's giving me that same vibe i think it's going to click together just right and i think the right panel is going to be there and it's going to be a panel that appreciates the thought process behind their show versus the story being laid out in front of them like crowns and yep i will say a uh, footnote to this um with crown you just mentioned it zach the layout the story in front of them kind of bit boston in the butt last year so i mean there is that you know that could definitely be a possibility with it i like this story better mm -hmm. i agree in my yeah. opinion can I go ahead and get my guard prediction? Because that kind of plays into what I just talked about, too. Sure. Go ahead. I think blue coats are going to win guard. They've won it a couple times here and there. And I think that, that them, I think them beating crown and guard is going to help them get that medal. Will you? I got BD. It's too good, man. I think they're going to tip them. Uh, I got BD as well. A man can dream. Back <laughs> I'm with you, Blue Cooks. It's consistent. And nobody's talking need. about them. That's what you need this and weekend. Just, and just like last year, nobody was talking about Blue Coats percussion. You see what happened. So, all right. That. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> Boston. Which means you got blue difference with it. Well, uh, Colts. Just copy paste for me. <laughs> <laughs> I have coach and then blue doubles. Yeah. I'm playing right now. I'm going to say, I was like, what do you see? I was like, do it. Do it. I will, yeah, I'd love to see it. Um, I love the blue coat show. It's my favorite show of the year. Hands down. Oh, but it's so good. What what makes you like it? Because I, I I'm interested. I, I'm not saying I hate it. I just want to know like what what. It For makes me, you it's it's the total. It's the package of everything that's going together. Like, so you have your storytelling element, um, and they trans. I mean, they completely transform the field into whatever they wanted to do, and they've been doing that since Tilt. Um, you know, whatever whatever their show is. We're gonna figure out a way to trans trans transport the audience to where it is. I think the electronic to brass stuff. I think they do it better than anybody else, um, and I don't think they get enough credit f for that. Um, their their horn book, while it doesn't seem as if athletic, it's brainy, um, and some of the stuff that they have is hard. Um, as far as like, um, I always think about that trumpet block that's off to the left. And it is like to get that many trumpets to play in that tessitura range with that type of articulation that clearly consistently is hard. Uh, they actually march and play. Um, just, I, I just think it's a, I think, you know, I model what I do after some of the stuff that they do as far as creating a soundscape playing music that's not your typical like things that you have to find. I I just can I can I play devil's advocate for a second? You can. I just and like I said, this is not I'm not I just wanna know. So what makes because you you're you we've talked about this with troopers about how it's like the same flavor. I feel mm. like Blue Coast do that in a, in a sort of a way. So what what delineates that for you? Uh, I think it's a difference between uh, flavor and style. Gotcha. So, okay. so troopers, all their music is in the same genre. Gotcha. Um, 
and it's kind of like the Blue Devils. It's, you know, their arrangement. Well, okay, not to add myself into this mix, but like, you guys have heard enough of my music. There are things that I do in my music that makes it mine. Mm hmm. Whether it's arrangement or not. And I think Blue Coats and Blue Devils do that. Both of those two groups do that. Like, um, you know, they'll play different stuff, you know, but there's going to be things, signatures that those groups have. And, um, you know, thinking about the opening stuff for Blue Coats and then um, they go into the, the actual garden piece, which is really out there, space and esoteric, into a Pat Metheny piece. Like, that's a complete mind shift. And then, you know, their ballad is untimed. Like, no conductor. Just, all right, we're just going to fill this on a football field and see what happens. And they're just chilling um, on the podium. They're yeah. just chilling on the podium. <laughs> and then you get this nasty, raunchy, just low breath. Like, it it takes you. They use the musical choices to, to take you, you through the story. You can listen not video just listen to a recording of that show and you know what's happening on the field almost you know mm -hmm. you don't have to see it to follow the story you don't have to see it to to picture it in your brain like you talk about when you can compare with troopers like with me blue coast has a formula but each each year that formula might be the same but the movie they're putting on in front of you is different it's a different movie. Whereas Troopers, it's like you're watching this TV series. You have episodes. They all go together in the same. Yeah. They're on the same season, but Blue Coats, it's like, except for when they did the two Beatles shows back to back. But we get why they yeah. did that. But like, you can sense <laughs> the formula, but it's a completely different movie that you're seeing. Like the part with you know the. What what, hurt, you know what's hurting them with that though. And I'm hearing this and seeing it in a lot of comments is at at, the, at a certain point, a lot of people aren't dissecting it like that. And the sheer fact that each of these, this is what year five of the same feel or the mm -hmm. same look. That's what's getting people. People are it, tired of because it has it being the sixties, seventies, whatever the same type. It's the aesthetic that is it changing, yeah. and that's what's killing people, and that's why people because they're everybody's like, okay, if Blue Coast come out and do this next year, it's it's a wrap for them. Well, it's like we say with BD with all the white prop, the white, props. and that's why BD's getting the heat that they get. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, but they're winning. Like exactly. people might not yeah. like them, <laughs> but they're doing well. Yeah. Can I just um, say I, mean, I want to. I want to eat some crow for a second. I said, I, I remember this at the beginning of the year. I said that this blue coast show might be like jagged line. And I personally want to apologize to the blue coats. Oh, <laughs> uh, it is not jagged line. So congratulations. Yeah, it's and. If you have not watched the Funliners guy talk about the Blue Devils mm -hmm. on YouTube, oh, yes. you watch that video because mm -hmm. he brings up a lot of good points, and he doesn't just fanboy over the Blue Devils either. Like he, like when he, when like somebody says something about him that he agrees, he's like, "No, you're right. They do tend to do this, and I wish they didn't do this." Um, and I think that's just kind of the thing with with the Blue Coats is is, is that same. It's the I think it's the same aesthetic because it's the same arrangers, it's the same drill. You got the same design team mm -hmm. that's been there for years, just like the Blue Devils. Mm -hmm. We started like in Boston when they got a new design team, but we keep saying they keep doing this storytelling type of show. I mean, if you think about it, White Tail, sorry, White Whale is just an evolved version of SOS and Goliath. Mm -hmm. Just like in wicked games, in uh, wicked games, just like um, Garden of Love is, and in, in last year's show is a evolution of tilt and kinetic noise, mm -hmm. okay. and you can see, you can see those elements from those shows, and this is like, okay, let's how how else can we push the envelope? Have you guys watched Food Wars? Love Food Wars, yeah. So you can hear it, and. And I've and I've realized I kind of I'm kind of like him a little bit. 
people are like, he's just making the same dish over and over again, but he always tweaks it to see what he can do to make it better. Like he, okay, this worked for this, so let's do that, and then let's tweak this, and 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 constantly he be, kept becoming a better and better chef the whole time doing this, and I think that's what these design teams do is like, well, this worked for us, what else can we do mm-hmm. to make that better? Mm-hmm. Um, because when you have a design team, why completely do a one eighty that's been there for ten years? If it if the, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, my thing with Blue Devils is I just I know they could do harder stuff. I just want to see them do something just dumb for one year, just 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 to see what's like, just to see what they could do. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, you close your eyes and listen to Boston show this year, you would think it's Crown. Dead dead up. I can see that, except for the battery. Except for the battery. <laughs> you would dead up think it's crown. So like, you know, if if Blue Coats, the year the Blue Coats beat Blue Devils was the year that Blue Coats out emotioned them, and I, I mentioned that early in the year with the um, downside up show. Like they executed just as well as Blue Devils, and they made you feel something. Mm-hmm. That's what's gonna take. And this show's just missing just a little bit of it. It's not as polished as Blue Devils is. That's why I haven't said it. Now, can Boston catch blue? Yes. Can Crown catch blue? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that two through four is just like five through seven. Point flip. Yeah. Point flip. Yeah. Yeah. But I think I think at the peak of their game, I think Blue Coats has more has more to offer. So, yeah. all right, um, Brass. I'm gonna give this to Crown. I say like, I can't have them medal on without giving them something, so I have crown as well. <clears throat> well, yeah, crown. I thought I was being bold by picking crown. <laughs> <laughs> they they play well. I mean, their breath is good. Oh, they're always good. Hey, right, Zach, who's winning drums? I want. Well, I'm skipping you. I want to give it. I want to give it to Cavies, but I think they go on too early. Chris. Oh. This is like the hardest one. And yes, I said Boston because I didn't want to say Blue Devils. <laughs> but we oh, all know what's going to happen. That's a solid pick. I this sounds like a cop out, but I am saying Blue Devils because what Zach said with the cabbies going on way too early to win, and then I honestly because of said when we at Murfreesboro, I watched the front for Boston and the front for the Blue Devils, and I saw exactly what you were talking about. So that's why I give them the edge over Boston. Um, I think Cavies are going to pull it off. I want them to pull it off. I'm here for that. They've done it. They've done it at the two major shows that they needed to do it at, and that's hard to do. I think they broke the seal. I think I think it took one judge to be like, you know what? No, they were the best, and I don't care when they went on. And I think once they did it, I think the other judges felt like, okay, it's okay to do that. So I honestly want to, I like, I pose this it. question to you guys if you knew, but I want to know if there's ever been someone to win one of these captions without being in like the top four or five. I don't think so. Like, because that's going to be awesome if they do that. I don't, I they got to do it so. for three nights in a row. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well. Madison Scouts. <laughs> I feel like you're going to say Boston. <laughs> Troopers. No. Uh, we heard it here, folks. No. <laughs> <laughs> Cappy's going to make history. Ooh. 
that placement ain't going to matter. Yeah. If the judges literally, I do mean literally, do it right, that placement ain't going to matter. Because it's, it's, I've, I've, the only front touching them is BDs. And BDs is still looking through binoculars. This this don't make no sense. <laughs> Nothing in this season makes any sense. Uh. And Cavs going they will lay it down enough that that perk score is going to stretch, and every single group after that break is getting compared to that number, and they're going to mm-hmm. keep rolling back, and they're going to keep saying that ain't it. Still not yet. Still not yet. Right. It's going to take them top got three boys believing. Mm-hmm. All, all day. <laughs> he got them all boys day. believing. And it, it's going to take them last three, whoever they are, for the judges to be like, all right, <laughs> I either need a cigarette or a scotch because this is going to get stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. man. It's gonna be entertaining. I I don't care who wins it. I really don't. I, I don't either, honestly. At this point, because because my favorites ain't there, so it don't matter. There's some groups just throwing down, and so I'm here for it. So, so yeah. So there it is. Um, it's. I mean, we think it's the Blue Devils to lose. Mm-hmm. Um, like we said, that two, three, four back could go either anyway. We don't, I, I don't, who knows what's going to happen with that. Um, and then same thing with five through eight. So lots of, lots of good stuff. So, um, so yeah, so, so listen, we'll be, um, uh, in Indy Friday night. Mm-hmm. We'll get there Friday night and then we'll be walking around doing stuff. I'm sure Saturday morning um, we'll go and eat somewhere. Um, I know last year we went to Goodwood. The good food at the Goodwood. Uh, we'll go and eat somewhere and probably try to check out some um, whatever that thing's called, Town Sport and Drummond Battles. I'll be there for that, some of that too. So you see us, please, 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 please come say hi. I'm saying, ah, yeah, we'll, uh, and if you're going to be, like I said, if you're there, just speak up, say hi, go take a picture, throw you on the Twitter, um, might vlog it again. Who vlogged last year? Was it you or me? Will. Will. Me. I'll be there in spirit. I did, I did some shorts. Um, I did, I did a couple of shorts. Yeah. So we'll probably try to do that again. Um, and then um, are we going to do a, a live feedback uh, or immediate feedback like we did last year? Sure. I don't know why. Why are we talking about these things? Well, bro, no <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to talk about it now. I, li- I, liked, know. I liked it last year. That was fun. So, <laughs> so we'll probably go. Facebook too, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we did that one on Facebook. But, I, I mean, we got we see, we got stuff from it. We could probably pull it back. I might bring too. my laptop we and my both. mic. We can, we can do it. Yeah. I think we can do that. Yeah. Could we live on the on the YouTubes. So, but so yeah, we'll be around. So just holler at us. Um, all that good stuff. Looking forward to meeting some of you guys. Um, they already got to meet Mama DCI. I kind of want to meet her too. Um, and all that good stuff. Yeah, I always are planning a big meet and greet for us, anyways. Shout right. out to uh, who is it, David and yeah, and uh, hey, John. Did I miss and, that? Yeah, it's on Twitter. They're They've already got our itinerary planned. Yeah, we just got to show up. <laughs> we just got to show up. I missed that. <laughs> yeah, I need to check the. I need to check the Twitter. Well, that's cool. I'm down for it. All about community here. Yeah. So you already know what you need to do in that comment. You need to put your top twelve. You can put your caption awards too. You can say how dumb I am to have people where they are. Um, because I'm already going to get my bold prediction, but that's okay. I, I knew that wasn't going to happen in the first place. We all are. Um, yeah. 
Um, but yeah, so let us know in the comments down below who you think is going to win, captions and all that good stuff, who you rooting for. Because who you rooting for and who you think is going to win could be two completely different things. Because um, I'm rooting for Blue Coats. I don't think they're going to win, but I'm rooting for them. Um, and there's really not a group that I'm I'm not I'm not digging. Like I'm kind of looking forward to it. I know who my bathroom core is going to be though. Uh, I already have one of those, so I know who that's going to be. Bathroom and concession so, yeah. core. Yep, yep. So, um, but yeah, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. You can also listen to us on Spotify. F not Spotify. F M. Spotify. <laughs> um. I don't know, it might be an FM. You can also see my cat's tail in my face immediately if you watch this on YouTube. Um, so make sure you hit the like, comment, share, subscribe button. Um, we're going to keep growing our community. And um, just like last time, we're not done when DCI is done. We'll, you know, we'll have some topics and stuff. Might try to get a couple of interviews going and all that stuff. Um, so, yeah. So, but yeah, it's Farmers Week. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, See Thursday night's theater night, so you can watch it there. I'm pretty sure Flo March is doing all the shows as well. Um, so yeah, and then if you watch on Flo March and see if you can find us, we're, we're close to the front this year. I don't know exactly where we are, I can't remember, but we're down there. We're gonna be in the so tunnel. In the back row. Yes. And if you're willing, or if you're driving from Seattle and don't mind picking up Will uh, to bring him. With you, yes. Uh, he fits. He fits in a suitcase if you're flying. Um, I'm low maintenance. He's he is. He, he's your uh, your um, what are those animals called that when people need them. Oh, service. No. Or um, emotional support uh, animal. That's yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> emotional yeah. support. That he's your emotional support uh, person. So, <laughs> so yeah. So um, but yeah, we you know we miss a friend, and and that's the cool thing if we do this live. He can hop on um, and still be with us mm -hmm. uh, and talk about some things that he saw it too. So I'm sure we'll be texting back and forth and like, oh my God. And, and all <laughs> this that. is a boat. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, I feel like every year we uh, walk out of Lucas Oil mad about something. Or at least I mad. <laughs> Will wrote a dang manifesto last year. So... <laughs> 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 Oh man, that was a uh, sight to see. Oh, That's how we do. Will, you're awful quiet. Do. Hold on. Shh. <laughs> well, somebody said the wrong thing to him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I looked over his shoulder and it looked like a freaking novel going on over there. I was like, is this AP literature? What is happening? <laughs> so, so, yeah. But, yeah. So, fellas, y'all got anything else before we head out? Happy Father's Week. Week. Enjoy yeah. it. One of my yeah, favorite yeah, aspects. Travels. One of my favorite things about finals is when we get to sit down close and just to see the emotion in the front ensemble. Mm -hmm. Just to see them go through all that. That That's hard to see, but I, I loved watching that. Yeah, just being being there in the moment. Being present, um, yep. Yes, it's, it's, it's awesome, so... Very blessed to be able to do this every year and, and and blessed to be able to do it with good friends who enjoy the same things that I do. Uh, it makes it worth it. So, for sure, for sure. That. So, for Zach, Will, and Chris, my name is Cedric. This has been episode number 49, finals preview of Back on the Back Cash. Make sure you guys take care of each other, love one another, safe travels to Indy, and right. we are debt, debt, debt. Out. Out.